the three amigos, Doug, Daryl, Dan, Dapper Dan, that is. You bite me. Yeah, I see you trying to bite me. I see. But today we've got to build the racks for the doors that I told you about. I don't know why I just like emphasize that. That's, <laughs> we got to build the racks, but I got to put uh, some shelves. Just, I don't know what to do with my hands. What is going on YouTube? <clears throat> Welcome back. My name's Josh. Most of you know that. Um, what are we doing today? Today we're doing a little something different starting out. Um, I am not on Blackberry Ridge. As you can tell, I'm driving my vehicle. <clears throat> uh, we are actually up a little bit further north and east of Blackberry Ridge up in... Uh, some other YouTuber country, um, but I'm not really here to see any of the uh, other YouTubers. The uh, We're kind of up here around where Dutch lives. We're up here around where uh, Hidden Heights lives, Kevin. Um, there's a new homeless guy wandering the woods up here, uh, Jason Crocker. But we are uh, actually up here i'm bringing you along on my normal uh, day job just because uh, we are doing something that kind of applies to what you've seen me do so far we are getting ready to do a custom barn dominium and i am up here meeting with our um, septic guy that's kind of the first thing we've got to do is uh, do a perk test to see if the site will drain or not or if we have to do aerobic or if we can do traditional lateral lines, all that fun stuff. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I'll keep it brief, just bring you along with me for that. And then we'll, uh, we'll go up to the ridge and um, do some fun stuff there. I don't know how fun it'll be. It'll be work, but uh, we'll go up there and do that. But I uh, just thought you might find this interesting. I'll show you some plans for that too after we uh, meet with the perk test guy. So we'll, uh, I think I might be a little bit lost. So I'm gonna put this down and uh, get to figuring out where we're going. Arrived at our barn dominium. Come up and we've got us a tribe of donkeys. This is a gaggle of donkeys, a tribe of donkeys, and a dog that will not shut up. What are you guys doing? You gonna help me build this barn dominium? Huh? Or are you just thinking you're gonna get fed? Is that what you think? What are you doing? Huh, bub? You not sure about me, are you? You're wondering if I got food for you? Hmm? Is that what you're wondering? How about you guys? Huh? Good. Good, good, good. There you go. See, I'm good. We're good. You're pretty. You. You're kind of ugly. Eh, you're kind of pretty. What are you guys doing? Hmm? All right. Well, I'm going to leave you alone because you're not really adding a whole lot of content here. You're just kind of looking at me. You're not really helping are you you bite me yeah i see you trying to bite me i see you all right just so i don't leave you hanging <laughs> i got some information here this one here is the ringleader that's daryl that there is doug that one there is doug and then that one there is dapper dan daryl doug dan dapper dan that's funny come on come here dapper dan Come here, Dapper Dan. You gonna try to bite me again? I'm gonna sock you straight in the face. Good boy. All right. Well, we'll be seeing a lot of you guys, okay? I'll bring you treats next time. How about that? 
What do you guys like? Carrots? Can we bring some carrots? All right, we'll do that. This is the first perk hole. You can see the toothpick that was put in, and uh, that's kind of his guide. So there's the first one. There's one right there where Mr. Goss is. And then there's a red flag right there in front of his truck. That's the third hole. So park test is almost done. He's got to wait a couple hours and see exactly what the official report is. But it's looking good for lateral lines and not a robot. Right, so here's the new driveway he built. He's got these oak trees that are just gorgeous that sit around this thing that'll be really pretty. But basically, quick overview, we're taking that building out from that red truck back up here to the front of where the barn will be. There's about three to four feet of elevation change. So what we're gonna do is scrape that all down as much as we can. There's a hill here that runs over and we're gonna scrape all this off that hill. That's a, uh, that's a dead tree standing dead right there. So then you got a brush pile. We're just gonna move all that back so we can get down to some native here. We still might have a little bit of fill over here at the at the west end, but it won't be anything like it is now. So anyways, that's a quick overview, but I'm gonna go show you what I've been having to listen to all morning, some chickens. <laughs> okay, so he's got a pretty interesting little chicken set up here. He's got them separated by some species and he's got them in the runs and he lets them free range a little bit at a time, but uh, he's basically got this whole line here of chicken houses. And uh, he collects all the eggs and his family uses the eggs. And I don't know that he's got any meat birds here or does anything like that, but he just definitely collects the eggs. It was just a little hobby for him that's maybe gotten a little bit out of hand. <laughs> but there they are right there. Hey, hey. Ooh, it smells like a chicken house. But anyways, that's, uh, that's the chickens. We've been listening to them crow all morning. Uh, and uh, there's Derek on the tractor coming to take down that barn. That barn is going, so I'm gonna go watch him do a little tractor work. All right, so we're uh, getting out of here. We, uh, there was really nothing to show you on the tractor. He was just kind of cleaning out that old barn and uh, getting ready to take it down, but he had to clean it out first. So um, it's a nice little homestead he's got. Uh, it's on nine acres, and uh, we're gonna be building him about a, um, I guess it's, a, well, I'll show you the square footage when I show you the plan. I'll show you the plan next. So we're going to get back to uh, back to town, back to South Tulsa, get up on the ridge, get the trailer because Grandpa's chomping at the bit to go to work. I got to go get some stuff for him so that he can go to work. And uh, whenever we get that, we'll be up there on the ridge and I'll show you the plans for this barn too. So we'll see you in a minute. Actually, it won't be a minute at all. It's like, it's like a, 45 minute hour drive so we'll see you in a little okay well here is the plans for the barn dominium um as you can see well you can't really see but it's a metal building uh it's going to be a fully engineered metal building um these are just some miscellaneous notes i've made on the plan from our last meeting we already have our final architectural set but uh if you, I won't go room by room. If you wanted to uh, stop the video here and kind of go through it, you're more than welcome to. All right, hey guys. Um, it is not later this afternoon. It is not like an hour later. I know I said all that at the end of the last segment. It is like days later and it is windy. So work got in the way and, um, and this is the first day I've actually been able to come back out to the farm. The guys have been here uh, doing some other stuff for me for work stuff, but then they also got a chance to do some barn stuff this week, so I'll show you what all they've got done. But today we've got to build the racks for the doors that I told you about. I don't know why I just like emphasize that. That's, <laughs> we got to build the racks, but I got to put uh, some shelves. Just I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, we got. I'm gonna put them in my pocket. How about that? We got to build some shelves for some doors, uh, and I'll show you why whenever we get to that. And then we got to go play in the mud. Uh, it rained for like 24 hours straight here, uh, from like Thursday night all the way through Friday, uh, almost all the way through Friday night. But the sun is out now. The wind is blowing to try to dry it out. Unfortunately, it's blowing out of the north, so it's a bit nipply. But that won't matter because. Petey's got a heater, so we'll be we'll be in high cotton in old Petey playing in the mud today. So 
I'll show you what we're gonna do there. But for now, I've got a dog in here that's probably freezing his little cookus off. Right, Dukers? You ready to come out? Huh? Come on. Good boy. Hey, Duke, say hi to everybody. Everybody likes to see you. Hey, you gonna go right on the tractor? Oh, of course you do. All right, so I don't know if the wind's killing it. I got the best microphone on here for that uh, that I could that I have today. So hopefully it's not too bad. But we're gonna be inside the barn and inside PD anyway, so it won't matter. All right, so let's go get after it. Now let's go play in the mud first. Maybe let the sun heat up this barn. Woo! Hola, everybody. Uh, okay, so we got a little change of plans. I'm not going to show you doing the driveway stuff in this video. Um, it just kind of was like a completely different subject, completely different video matter. So, um, subject matter, video matter, video subject matter. Um, so we're going to stay on point with barn stuff. And so we're going to build some barn shelves. I'm going to tell you why here in just a second. Just wanted to tell you, bump in and say, if you were thinking you were going to watch me, if you got a little bit excited about playing in the mud, you're going to have to wait till the next video. If you even see what I'm talking about. I, my editing skills may be so great right now. You're like, what? What is he talking about? And then you're going to watch the next video and you're going to go, that's what he's talking. Man, he's good at editing. How did he do that? I didn't even know. That's so crazy. How do most people store doors? Would you say it was like that? Mm, maybe, but not a lot of people would store a door like that. Most people store doors like that, vertically. What is the worst way to store a door? Is it like that? Mm, no. That's okay, but it's not great. That's the worst way to store a door. You wanna know why? Hang on, I'll tell you. Okay, whenever you store a door vertically like this, just leaned up against the wall, it's more of a common in today's modern day doors. Now these are all like antique doors that were bought in an auction that are gonna be used in a house. So they're solid wood, they're probably real hard wood, they're dried out. So it's probably not that big of a deal for these doors, but in your modern day, flip the camera around so you see my pretty face. So pretty. But in your modern day doors, uh, they're made of like masonite and really cheap kind of soft pine is the guts of them. And they tend to warp really bad. And so when you set them vertically, leaned up against the wall like that, they warp really bad and they'll bow and that basically makes them unusable if you care at all about being able to shut your door. So what we're gonna do today, mom and dad are coming and they have a lot of doors in their basement that they've acquired, accrued over time that they're gonna integrate into their home build whenever we get to going on that. So I'm gonna build some racks for them to hang them on. We've got to put, we've already started a little bit, but we've gotta put some uh, decking down because they're gonna fill this space over here where the horses go with uh, furniture and just lovely stuff. So we gotta get after that, but uh, do not store your doors vertically like that right there because they'll warp. You don't want them to warp. So we're going to store them um, laying down and I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. Okay, so we're going to use all this scrap material. This is all scrap bracing stuff left over from building the barn. So we're going to use this stuff right here, pull some nails out of it if we need to, and cut it up into what I need it for. Uh, we're going to do it all on the saw horses right here, and then I'm going to nail it to the wall right here so that these doors can lay on some bracing flat, all flat-like, all flat-like right here. We might do one or two shelves. I don't really know how much they're bringing, but when we're done with it, we literally just bang it off the wall and it's gone. No harm, no foul. It was never there. So we got to do that. Then I got to get this crap out of the way because I'm not going to use all of it. And I got to take that stack of OSB and I got to finish filling the floor so that they can move furniture in here. 
And I guess we're just gonna have to kick the livestock outside. I mean, the sacrifices we make for Marmy's stuff. Okay, so we just got started here. Um, I have screwed on the first two horizontal pieces and then we've got these kickers that are gonna go back down like so for bracing. So what I did to install these was I uh, put a torpedo level on it as you see to get that first one nice and level I put the first screw in then I put the level on it because only one screw will hold it in place but it'll allow you to act like a hinge or a pivot point so then you can put your torpedo level on it and level it up and put in the second screw which will keep it from moving at all so that's what we did for that then to make sure that they were on the same height you really I mean all this is is just going off of those which were chalked lines popped supposed to be perfect but I put the four foot level on it and uh, made sure that it was the same height and then did the same thing put one screw in then put the torpedo level on that one and leveled it up as well so now we've got to put our angle pieces going back and then we've got to do our second row right up here and I'll let you see me do that in action all right just real quick I wanted to show you uh, you see every all those screws sticking out I just pre-started everything this is what's left to go on everything's pre-cut pre-screwed so whenever I get over to here I'm not fumbling around with screws and dropping stuff and all that everything is ready to go ready to be screwed on so if you're gonna do little projects like that the more you can do on a stable working surface the better off you are just a little uh, quick tip there so now we'll put these up battery okay as you can see that's way out of level but we've only got one screw in it so what we're gonna do now is take our torpedo level put it up here on the board move it down where it needs to be this is close enough it's just shelving temporary drive it home next Right there. First screw in. Torpedo, get it way down to where it needs to be. There we go. And okay, so all of this is scrap material. I just used whatever break for for angle bracing whatever length I didn't cut it to a certain length I just am doing this as fast as I can so we just have random widths and lengths all I did was chop a 45 degree angle on one end and it'll just land out wherever it lands out so we'll get to where that angle fits flush pretty much right there screw it in on the stud maybe And then connect this end and voila there it is really strong hold any door you want I can put all my weight on it and I'm a big guy so we're gonna do these other ones and I'll be right back with you all right well there's your finished product um, and then here is the sub floor that I just put all down for uh, temporary moving storage of all of Marmy and Pappy's things but I just got the SOS call from Amber uh, Pippa, who a lot of you guys love to see on the channel. She has the flu, so um, she's just not doing real good right now. So Amber needs a little bit of relief. So I got summoned from the barn. So we're going to stop the video here for today. And uh, I'm going to go take care of Pips. If you guys don't mind, say a little prayer for her. But we'll see you next time up on the
the Ridge. Come on, kennel. Hey, that's that's not the kennel. That's a good jump, but that's not the kennel. Come on, kennel. Good boy. Hey, say bye. Bye, love. Okay, well, here is the plans for the barn dominium. Um, as you can see, well, you can't really see, but it's a metal building. Uh, it's going to be a fully engineered metal building. Um, these are just some miscellaneous notes I've made on the plan from our last meeting. We already have our final architecture all set, but uh, if you, I won't go room by room. If you wanted to uh, stop the video here and kind of go through it, you're more than welcome to.